Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Windy Aysnan I'm from English Education Department 5th semester Today, I would like to explain the conclusion about uh, the international webinar was held on Tuesday, 6th December 2020 uh, presented by English Education Department The title is Communication Strategies in the Digital Era and ELT and Integrative Perspective. In the webinar, international webinar, there are four speakers. The first speaker is from uh, Professor Muhammad Asfar Hamman, MHD, PhD. Uh, the second speaker is Prof. Pro- Professor Far Abdul Hamid, MA, MA, PhD. And the third speaker is Professor Dustin Car- Carol Cowell from the Department of Africa Culture Studies at the University of Wisconsin Medicine. And uh, the fourth speaker is Afroza Ahtardinan, MA, from the Department of English uh, Daffodil International University, Dhaka, Bangladesh. I would like to explain the conclusion uh, or what is. Uh, The first speakers talk, talked about, talk about, and uh, the first speaker's theme is communication strategy for interaction in ELT virtual classroom. So, uh, the speaker talk about um, there are some patterns of communication interaction in traditional or the traditional classroom or face-to-face classroom that can be used, or also in the virtual classroom. There are two types of online communication to apply the pattern of communication interaction. Uh, they are synchronous and asynchronous. A synchronous, synchronous is communication online that we such as we can uh, such as Zoom, Google Meet, Google Hangouts, and uh, other tools that we can we can uh, use to interaction or to communicate to communication with. Uh, students face to face through virtual or communication online indirectly uh, or through messages such as a written in the email text messages uh, we can use uh, some tools uh, such as whatsapp telegram or some discussion discussion boards on ems platforms such as Moodle, Moodle or google classroom to build uh, a good communication uh, with students and teacher is the teacher have to create, have to be creative to make the online learning uh, confident to uh, the students so they can enjoy the uh, learning they can enjoy the class uh, Oh, through maybe in virtual classroom or a synchronous classroom, synchronous or asynchronous. So uh, this is the point that I got in uh, Professor Asfa's material. We move to the second speakers. So the second speakers theme is communication strategies in the framework of English as a lingua franca so uh, professor Fuad Abdul Hamid uh, uh, gave us uh, some recommendation to to change English as a world language to English as a lingua franca because and the goal of foreign language teaching communicative ability is spontaneous and flexible use of the language system or negotiating between format, function and communicating meaning as effective as possible. But sometimes teachers not teach the students to how to communicate with English but how to uh, make their speak their English uh, like a foreigner. It's not necessary anymore. So uh, he he gave he gave some recommendation to to change uh, e e 
English as a foreign language to English as a lingua franca. Some recommendations to teach you in teaching English. The first one is to reorient the objective of English language education. The second is to bring utilitarian values of in learning English for both teacher and students. The third one is to enhance quality of teacher. The fourth is to support teacher education in English language uh, in the English language Franca era. Move to the third speaker. The third speaker theme is understanding the complexities of other societies through the study of literature. So uh, the speaker, uh, Professor Nassim Korkol, uh, shows showed uh, two literatures, first Arabic literature and the second is English literature. In the two literature, the literature, we can see, we can see the complexity of, of other societies in Arabic and also in America. Um, this material can't be teaching for learners in English teaching. It can make them learn how to empathy and simply and to others or to others to others uh, societies the students can also learn intercultural communication also as, as well and those literature not only to make them understand uh, the feeling of sympathy and empathy but also to make them understand the literature of language four speakers talk about uh, effective ways to engage learners online. Um, Afro, uh, me, Mrs. Afro Dr. Tina uh, gave, gave us some effective ways to engage learning in online with autonomous learning. The first way is to create an open, accessible envir environment for students so uh, the students can. Uh, students can uh, have counseling hours with the teacher if they have a problem the students can uh, consult with the with the teachers about whatever or sharing 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 about the material they have given or asking question in their English, asking ask, asking question directly Second is allowing students to participate in developing the course content. So the teacher has to give students the opportunity to ask questions or suggestions to make them active in learning in online classroom. The third and um, to give them to give them uh, confidence in the classroom as well. After after they after they have uh we the t we as a teacher give them opportunity to ask question or to give suggestion uh, the third way is to give uh, the student uh, to give them positive reinforcements reinforcement the teacher can engage students interest in participating in a class by giving them awards after they contribute uh, some things such as the work uh, in the forum discussion. Uh, the fifth way is to reward students' success. Teacher can be give um, suggestion, feedback also to make them understand uh, where is the where, where is uh, the wrong or the, the false or the right answer from them. It also to make students uh, to make a student build self-esteem and self-confidence uh, and teacher can also be specified while giving uh, negative feedback for from them so um, so the, stu the teacher have to be aware and also uh, creative be creative 
to make the student engage uh, online learning effectively with autonomous learning. Uh, there is are some strategies, communication strategies in digital era and ELT and intercultural perspective. So many perspectives that we can we can get that we can use to apply in our classroom. So the webinar is very useful for us. Yes, alright. And uh, there are some com uh, ways. So the four, the four speakers gave us some ways to uh, build uh, effective, effective online learning for our students. So uh, I think this is enough. Thank you. Uh, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.